Welcome back, everybody. We're here doing Grunt's loyalty mission, which involves a lot of shooting. Go we'll figure. The Keystone. Now, all Krogan bear the Genophage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Alright, let's see what that puppy summoned up this time. Everything is shaking. I am ready. Is that the Thresher Maw? Probably. I'm gonna switch guns here. Gonna. What are those? Come on. Incoming. Standing down with barriers and shit. Replay. Now the goal is to survive. Nicely. But I like to try and kill it. If I can. That's just cooler. Let's be honest. Oh. It spit keeps winging me. Taking fire. This is a baby one. This is a little fresh one. Should burn any armor. Should. I won't. Taking heavy fire! Flammable or inflammable. Forget which. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Company. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My crant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction, just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. 
You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. <laughs> I like that look we just exchanged. They've seen us. Attack oh yeah, they've the seen us. Uvink is meat. Let's signal at the Keystone to get out of here. the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher moth fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. You may now own property, join the army, and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tichanka's past. Chanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it, no stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. 
I pass through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. <laughs> I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. Now oh, what's this? I just wave my hand in front of his face. All right, we can leave. Well, maybe we'll. I don't know if uh, Rex had anything new to say. Weird that the tank bred and the human killed him. Hey, my friend. Anything new to say? You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Veros and Ilos. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's go talk to those people that we just Commander, helped. you've received a new message at your private terminal. And now, Kelly. Martin! Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. <laughs> what about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Okay. Part you. Why I went this way. Salarians, short lifespan, fast processing. Make him sound like a computer. Fast processing Same speed like on these Salarians. I'm sure he would. Let's go visit my son. Hey, boy. Bird not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. 
was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Yep. That's my boy. My big, absolutely terrifying boy. Um, let's see, where did I want to go? There's somebody here that I wanted to visit. And, strangely enough, no, it's not Garrus. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Cerberus is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, the Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just... Happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Which one? You know, I, I always pick this one. I'm gonna toast Joker this time. To the ornery bastard who flies this ship. The best fighter jockey to ever take to the skies. And then magically suck the uh, liquor up my nose. And there's Chuckless. And now I'm all like, Wee! 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 Go talk to Thane like this. Hi, Thane! You're really green! Did anybody ever tell you how green you are? Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys here. And, uh, I'll come back in our next segment. We'll probably talk to Thane and see what the fuck his problem is, because we're problem-solving right now. So, I'll see you all later.